Bed bugs are at American Thrift Store. Y'all, today we're going to a thrift store with bed bugs. So on my town's Facebook page, someone posted about my favorite thrift store. Y'all know the one, America's Thrift Store, the one I go to every week, having bed bugs. Now, I don't put the thrift store at fault because anyone can get bed bugs. You know, hotels get bed bugs all the time. Malls can have bed bugs. All it takes is a shopper, honestly, to walk in and bed bugs to jump off of them, jump onto the clothes. Uh, bed bugs don't necessarily have to come from the donated clothes as you would just, you know, assume from a thrift store. So I don't hold America's thrift store at fall. They did comment back on this post and say they were gonna look into it. Thanks for bringing it to their attention. But a lot of people said they were no longer gonna shop at this thrift store. So we're gonna go to America's thrift store today and Hopefully not find bed bugs, but find some bolos for eBay and Poshmark. Let's go. All right, here we go. Are we gonna find bed bugs or Balenciaga? Bed bugs or Brooks Brothers? Bed bugs or <laughs> booty shorts? I don't know. Parking lot seems really full, so it looks like all those people on Facebook saying they weren't coming here were lying. Look at that, only one buggy left. Wow. Welcome back, y'all. If you're new here, my name is Alicia Murray, and I resell clothes from thrift stores on eBay and Poshmark for a living. Today, I'm going to show you what I found at this America's Thrift Store. It's one of my favorite thrift stores. I got a lot of good stuff today. A lot of people always ask me whenever I say bolo in the video, what is a bolo? A bolo is be on the lookout, something that will make you a lot of money on eBay and Poshmark. Okay, here's my buggy. I spent about three, three and a half hours looking. In this thrift store, I found a lot of good stuff. This is a huge thrift store. I didn't even go through every aisle. Here's a quick overview of my cart with my shoes and this whole rack of stuff I found to flip online for profit. So let's go ahead and start with the shoes. Never leave this brand behind at thrift stores. So I was kind of shocked to find these in flip-flops. This is really a Boots brand. Old Gringo, they were only $4 and some comps were showing around 80 for these flip-flops. So just goes to show you can find some things for great prices at thrift stores that will make you a lot of money online. Um, some of these I did not get. I think the majority, these sandals I looked up, they were $7 and I think comps were like 20. Now I do love this brand, Salvatore Ferragamo. I usually can sell these. I have a great sell through rate with them, but these had a really small width. They were an A2, which is really tiny. Uh, so I just decided to leave them. Now, I do love this brand Vionic. However, some of the sandals don't move for me. So I've started looking up the specific style of each sandal, and these were not going for much, around 20. So I just left them behind. So these were really flawed and expensive Sabago. There were a couple good comps out there, but definitely not worth the $10, especially with all of these flaws. I wasn't gonna take time to clean those for maybe, what, 20, 25. Now, I overpaid for these, I'm gonna tell you right now, these are a pair of Olakai's, and I think I can clean them up and they'll be in pretty good condition. However, they were $7. I'm thinking I'm only gonna get around 30 for them, so I would not, even though I picked them up, I would not recommend paying seven for something that you're just gonna flip for 30, but I usually never find it in good condition, so I did get that. All right, I know I told y'all in my last video, I'm done with Beta Brand, I'm not picking it up, but y'all, I've said this before, tall sizes and stuff just move. And these were $5 beta brand, 2XL tall women's pants. I think these are gonna do good. I'm very confident I can get at least $30 for each pair based on the size. Again, the tall sizes will make me pick up something a little bit more than if it was just a regular size because there's not as many items out there. So this is also another brand that I told y'all I was not picking up really, but it was $3. The brand is Cabby. This is not a brand I usually pick up. However, these are a pair of really bright joggers. I did look up this specific style and there was a lot of comps between 30 and 40. So these definitely came home with me. I picked these next pair of pants up based on style. They are just that light wash, wide leg crop that I see a lot of people wearing. They were $3.50, the brand's Pilcaro and the Letterpress. I don't pick up that brand a lot, but I do think this style is gonna do good with spring and summer right here. 
Um, this brand, I've been looking for pieces to try from this brand and I never find any in good condition. Every time I find this brand, it's just trashed, which means maybe people love it. It's Notori. I did pay about $8 for both of these dresses. Now these are floral kimono style house dresses. Some comps were great. There were some over 50. I think I'm going to price mine at 40 for each one. These are really pretty. I think they're going to do well. This is one of my best finds. I did pay $10, but y'all, this is a $450 new with tag Rebecca Taylor organza dress. Really cute. I'm going to put some good keywords in it like wedding. I think this would make for a fabulous wedding guest outfit. And honestly, I just think it's cute. I think this is going to do great going into the season. I don't always pick up Rebecca Taylor. Actually, I pass on it probably more than most of the time, but new at tags, you know I'm picking it up. Now, y'all, I wanted this one so bad. I thought about it so much while I was in the thrift store. It was a $3 one-piece body glove swimsuit, completely open back, had a halter neck, but the best thing were these metal rings on the hips. How cute, but y'all, it had a stain there. I was putting these in my keep pile, then in my not keep pile. I went back and forth with this, but ultimately, because of the staining in that private area, I'm not picking it up because I don't want to disclose that and sell that to my buyer. So always check that area when you're looking at bathing suits. I picked this one up. I didn't see any comps on this. I picked it up based on style. It was a $3 one-piece swimsuit from Aerie. I got this because of the off-the-shoulder tie they had, and it still had the liner inside, so the private area was clean. We love that. I just thought this was really cute, so I picked that one up. Probably will only get around 20 for it. Now, I was going to get this matching set from Victoria's Secret. However, when I was leaving the thrift store, I was staring at it in my buggy, and I was thinking to myself, no one is wearing strapless anymore. I do much better with one pieces, so I did not end up getting that one. Denim skirts, especially this pencil longer style, like knee length and below, they're really trendy right now. Now, I will tell you, comps for good American denim skirts are trash, okay? Complete trash. Comps told me not to get it, but my intuition told me that I think I can get at least $25 for it. So I paid, I think, $5.50. I think it'll flip. Let me know. Are y'all picking up denim skirts? This is another one I got based on style. I did pay $6.50 for it, but it was new with tags. I can put words like goth, punk, things like that in my title. And based on style, I think that will sell. Y'all don't usually see me picking up this many skirts, but we are going into warmer weather. So this is one of my tried and true uh, skirts that I pick up to resell online. The brand is Rip Skirt. If you're just going down the skirt aisle and you just feel the top for Velcro, that's how you can tell it's a rip skirt. This is in a fabulous size. I'm hoping I can get somewhere between 35 and 40 based on style and condition. It's an absolutely great condition. Another tried and true exclusively Masuk. I almost never leave this brand behind. It did have a little mark on it, but I'm going to wash it and I think that'll come right off. Okay, Bolo Time. Uh, this is an anthropology brand. Never heard of it before. It's like a kimono style scarf. It had beading, embroidery, these tassels. It was wool. It was silk. It had a lot going on for it. And I'll show you the tag in a second because the tag didn't look like much, but whenever I checked comps, I think I can get at least $50 for this. Patanu, whenever I was searching it at first, I was searching for two separate words, but it's actually one. Go look up comps. That's a great one to pick up. For 99 cents, you know I did not leave a Lululemon shirt behind. This is not going to fetch a lot, probably only $20, but it's a long sleeve striped shirt with thumb holes. Worst case scenario, I'll keep it. Okay, this is something I'm going to try out. I got this based on size. These are a pair of size 68 men's pants. I'm going to have to measure the inseam because it looks like they were hemmed. I'm also going to have to wash it. As you can see, they've been dragging on the floor because they're so long. But you cannot find this many size 68 pants for men. So I figured, you know what? It was half off. I think the thrift store had it, what, $10.99? It was half off of that. I paid about six for it, okay? I think I can get around 35 40 What do you think? We're going to try it out. All right, here's stuff I decided not to get. I love these Avid shorts. I thought they were so fun. I love the color. It was a short inseam like the guys like, but comps just did not show 
anything over 20 really. So I left that one. Here's a pair of Free People joggers. They were $4. However, I'm very, very picky with Free People. It's very oversaturated. You have to look up every single style. And these had a bleach spot. So I'm trying to pick up less and less with flaws. I don't even know why I put this in the buggy. It's J. Jill. It, they're just a pair of cropped linen pants, but y'all, J. Jill's not moving for me, so I'm not buying it anymore. I really want to try out this brand, Fresh Produce, and I did find a black skirt, but honestly, I think the people who like the brand Fresh Produce are really looking for colorful stuff, things to wear on the beach, on vacation, to a resort cruise, things like that. So that's not really the vibe on that skirt, at least. Now, Frank Lyman, some of the dresses have great comps. I have no experience with this brand. I thought it was a decent dress. It had the fun little detail of the belt, but ultimately I wasn't in love with it. I wish it was a little bit more colorful, so I did leave that. Now, I went back and forth with this. I don't know if it's a dress or a tunic top. It's definitely oversized if it's a tunic. It's soft surroundings. It was only $5. I thought it had a lot going for it, but at the end of the day, I cannot sell this brand either, so I did leave that one behind. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more content. I put out videos every single week. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye y'all.